explore what happens when objects go down the slide. A slide is a kind of ramp. Ramps have one end higher than the other. Tap an object to move it to the top of the slide. Does it roll or slide? Round things roll. Does it roll or slide? Round things roll. Objects with flat surfaces slide. Objects with flat surfaces slide. Why does it roll? Why does it roll? Why does it slide? Why does it slide? Let's aim for the target. Use the ramp to get the object on the target. Use the arrows to make the ramp steeper or flatter to help the object roll. Tap an object to move it to the top of the ramp. That went too far. How can you change the ramp to make it stop sooner? Your ramp was just steep enough to reach the target. Tap an object to move it to the top of the ramp. You didn't reach the target. Do you need to raise the ramp or lower the ramp? Your ramp was just steep enough to reach the target. Tap an object to move it to the top of the ramp. That went too far. How can you change? Your ramp was just steep enough to reach the target. That went too far. How can you change the ramp to make it stop sooner? Your ramp was just steep enough to reach the target. Your ramp was just steep enough to reach the target. A ball rolls differently on different surfaces. Some surfaces create more friction with the ball. Friction is a force that slows down things that are moving. Tap on a surface that you think will help the ball roll far enough to reach the hole. Sandpaper. Tap the rug. Ice. The ball went too far. Try another surface. Rug. Tap. Tap on a surface that you think will help the ball roll far enough to reach the hole. Brick. Brick. 
The ball went too far. Try another surface. Sandpaper. Bubble wrap. The bubble wrap is too bumpy. Try another surface. Rug. The carpet is too shaggy. Try another surface. Wood. Tile. Sandpaper. Rug. Wood. The wood is too smooth. Try another sir. Sandpaper. Let's explore shadows. Tap to add objects to the scene to observe their shadows. The object blocks the light from the sun. Where is the sun when you see a very long shadow? The sun is high in the sky. That makes a very short shadow. What size is the shadow when the sun is high in the sky? Shadows look different depending on where the sun is in the sky. Tap to add objects to the scene. Move the sun and observe what happens to their shadows. Compare the shadows of different objects. What do you notice? Where is the sun when you have a long shadow? Tap the arrow for a new scene. Some objects block the sun more than others. Compare the shadow of the bike to the shadow of a building. Some objects block the sun more than others. Compare the shadow of the swings to the shadow of the slide.
Compare the shadow of the cactus to the shadow of the wagon. How are the shadows the same? How are they different? What's making that shadow? Tap the object that is blocking the light and making the shadow. Look closely at the shadow. What happens to the shadow if you move it closer to the light? Tap the arrow to see a new shadow. Look closely at the shadow. What happens to the shadow if you move it farther from the light? It's a teapot. What happens to the shadow if you move the teapot closer to the light? Look closely at the shadow. What happens to the shadow if you move it closer to the light? Tap on a thermometer to see what the temperature is. A thermometer, the liquid in the thermometer rises when the temperature is warm or hot. What does the thermometer look like when the temperature is cold? Tap the arrow to change the scene. Try another thermometer. The higher the number on the digital thermometer, the hotter the temperature. Look where the needle stops on a dial thermometer. Dark blue is freezing cold, and red is hot. Try... The liquid in the thermometer rises when the temperature is warm or hot. What does the thermometer look like when the temperature is cold? The higher the number on the digital thermometer, the hotter the temperature. Look where the needle stops on a dial thermometer. Dark blue is freezing cold and red is hot. Drag the circle up and down the thermometer to change the temperature and control the weather. Look at all the animals! What are they doing? Del's ready for a swim! 
Tap the thermometer you think shows the right temperature for a swim day. D is dressed for a warm day. Tap the thermometer that shows it is warm. Pick a different thermometer. Dot is dressed for cold weather. Pick a thermometer that shows it is cold. Pick a different thermometer. Dell is dressed for the cold. Tap a thermometer that shows that it is cold. D is bundled up for a cold day. Tap the thermometer that shows that it is cold. Dot is dressed for cold weather. Pick a thermometer that shows it is cold. It is cold and snowy. Tap on Dot to see what she wears to keep warm. It's a warm day. Tap on Dell to see what he wears to stay cool. It's a rainy day. Tap on D to see what she wears to protect herself in the rain. Tap on Dot to see what clothes she wears on a warm day in the city. Look at the weather outside the window. Help Dell pick clothes that are just right for the weather. Pick something from the closet. Pick something from the shoe shelf. Pick something from the hat rack. Look at the weather outside the window. Help Dell pick clothes that are just right for the weather. <coughs> Dell is not happy. Tap on the door to go back inside and try. Look at the weather outside the window. Help Dell pick clothes that are just right for the weather. Dot choose materials to build an umbrella that will protect her from the rain. Tap Dot is getting wet. Try something else. Dot is getting wet. Try something else. Dot is getting wet. Try something else.
Dot is getting...